Okay, uh, Victor Boniface again. Alfana, bro. How your side? How did you feel after the first game and everything? Yeah, yeah well, thank God. Now, um, most important thing, we don't qualify. So, that be the most important thing. Now. We're really happy about it. Yeah, yeah. Qualify with two games to spare. You understand? Now, the kind targets we want to get before we start the uh, qualifying series. Um, I think the aim of every one of us is to qualify as top of the group. Um, it doesn't matter if it's like the last game or two games to go. The most important thing we qualify and we're happy, we're happy with it. And they're looking forward to the tournament. Now, many many of the teams don't qualify. It gets our neighbors and we don't qualify. But <laughs> in terms of maybe teams where they also look out for for that next AFCON now, you know, we could be dangerous. You get anything with your man? There's a lot, a lot of good teams. Uh, Morocco is good. Uh, Ivory Coast, um, Senegal, Mali. You know, when it comes to African football, you can underestimate any team. So everyone, everyone is good. So we are looking forward. And then, um, <coughs> sorry, yeah. that World Cup qualifying. We start again next year. You understand? We are done with this one, and we get one more match to play against Rwanda. How do we not get, you know, carried away or distracted? You know, to also finish the group strongly, even if we qualified yeah. on top. Yeah, I think um, we as a player, you know, uh, even though we, we qualify, we still want to um, finish the group on beating. I don't think we lost any game. Yeah. So I think... Just one goal consider. Yeah, just one goal consider. So we, we, we try and keep it on um, that way. And you know, Rwanda is a must win game for them. So, but we we know uh, we know what we're going to do. We have the supporter with us. And most importantly, we just, like we said, the most importantly, we qualify already. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we'll try to, to make it like a complete game without losing one game. So one evening, I'll be one night, I was online and then I saw what you posted on your story concerning the car crash. You know, so then they call them accident again. I beg, walk me through what, what really went down that day. Um, I was having my childhood friend from Nigeria. They were coming to visit, something like that. Yeah, they are coming to visit. So we are supposed to pick them up from the airport. So I was sleeping. So my other friend was, was driving, so I was sleeping. When I woke up. We were spinning, so, but we thank God, you know, nothing. Spin. Yeah, like three times. So, but we thank God, just little scar on, on my head. So the most important thing that I'm alive. The car is written up and everything, but the most important thing is life for me. So I'm alive. Wow. And then during the whole recovery and uh, treating your injuries, were there any nothing like internal? This, you know. No, no, no. that's the uh, that's one thing. No internal, just all these tissues and but it's fine, you know. Thank God, the guy, if you see fear, fear that everybody said message, but you understand, you understand, you be Jesus speaking, nothing will ever do you. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs> All right, let's just move into you. Uh, personally, this season, you've been you know, bang, banging the numbers back and forth, and I want to know if there's anything from last season that you're personally working on this season in improving. You get maybe something that you were not really impressed with the way you were doing last season that you're doing, you're trying to do better this season. Yeah, in, in, in general, everything. Because me... I'm the type of guy that I like to learn, you know, I like to learn from people a lot, you understand. So last season I had a decent, before the injury I had like a decent beginning of season. And this season also has been, has been there, but in general I want to improve in time of team performance and try to support my team, score goals, give assists. So in general I want to learn in every aspect. All right, <coughs> the World Cup is coming very, very fast. I hopefully will qualify. So I want to ask you, if you sleep now, and you just blink your eye, and the year is 2027. Yeah. You found out that Nigeria won the 2026 World Cup. Yeah. Minus yourself, which other player do you feel must have maybe had a very, very, very mad, great performance to help us win the World Cup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that. That. Just point, 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 point. Vic. Okay. Vic. <laughs> you know, go here, they do interview. Name me that. So, Victor, and also, mm. we have, I think, we know our. Quality, our our squad is. I think every one of uh, well, every one of us, we're trying our possible best, you know, to to get the result. And but we'll see. We we'll try try our possible best to to make it to the World Cup. Thank you very much for your time, I beg. And also, um, ahead of Christmas and New Year, happy everything in advance. Take care, I beg. Uh, Wish you all the best. Uh, it's too much. Okay, bright. Osai sound well. How far now? I did, I did, I did. <laughs> I was surprised. Can you, you can you speak like pigeon? You sabi speak well. Uh, I, I'm, I'm learning words, but I can understand, of course. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. How's life in Turkey, and uh, how are you getting along? No, it's good. It's good. Uh, come back from my injury, so I'm now playing games, and uh, I think that's the main thing, just to keep playing as many as I can. Yeah. And then I noticed, maybe I don't know if it's just Misha, you're a bit two-footed. Is that true? Uh, the way I walk is a bit unbalanced, but. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, it's, it's, I'm, I can say it's definitely no, no injury or anything like that. It's just the way I walk, yeah. I mean, to feel like you're ambidextrous, you can use, you can play balls with your right oh. foot and your left foot. Uh, I mean, I, I always try to use my left when I, when I have to, so I wouldn't say I'm two-footed, but uh, I'm comfortable playing with my left too. Did you, is this something you worked on or it just came natural? No, I, I went from young, um, when playing in the streets, you know, we always wanted to use our weak foot and um, I think the more I kept using it, um, the more, of course, you improve, so, yeah. <coughs> What's it like being on that, the great one himself, Jose Mourinho as a coach? Uh, it's, it's good. Um, I feel like every day is like a, it's an exam, <laughs> and you have to you have to pass every single day. Every single day's demands are, are very high, but uh, you reap the rewards at the end. You know, you know, we're winning games, and um, yeah, he's uh, for me he's like a, the biggest boss I've seen. Biggest boss, and then um, do you feel he's improving you personally as a player? Yeah, um, I think if he likes you, then. You're working you, you know, and um, I think that's the main thing to to see that uh, managers have been trusting you. And yeah, I think I'm learning uh, um, a lot from him. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Um, let's talk Super Eagles now. You know, you're always um, in and around the team. <clears throat> the last game, we had a draw, but then a lot of people, the reaction was like, we lost the game. You know, I want to know if maybe <clears throat> personally you have that feeling that the fans have uh, like an over expectation of uh, the, the players. Um, for me, I think I think the the fans do have a high expectation, but um, it's understandable because of the players that we have. Um, we have you know players who are the best player in Africa. The, uh, another back one to back, back, to back, you know. So of course they expect a lot from us, and we understand that. But um, they also need to understand that football now is football in in Africa is not the same like before. You know the play. The teams now are, are way better than than how they were before. So, yeah, we uh, for me, there's no complaint complaints, and we just try to take every game as much as do as much as we can do and win the game. Final question: The United versus um, your team. Did you have that feeling that Nigerians are really watching this game because it's my United? There'll be more of your UK people watching the game as well. Did you have that? Yeah, I had a lot of messages before the game. So more than usual. Yeah, yeah, you know, and. Definitely, I knew they were Nigerians, you know. And, and you played like it? Yes, you know, I just, and um, it gave me more motivation, you know. I, I wanted to take that game like I was playing with my friends. And um, it's a, it's a you know, it's a big platform to show everyone and to show the Nigerians who don't know much about me how, how, how I am as a footballer. So it was, it was good, it was good. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos you're supposed to like and all our social media links. I mean, follow us on every platform because we get content for everyone.